This is Twit. What problem does somebody have when they're reaching for OpenVPN as a solution? Well, uh, the problem that they would have mostly is is businesses who actually got their data insulated in a private network or maybe in a private cloud, which is not visible to the public internet. And you want to create a, a tunnel from a particular either corporate network or even from any device, whether it's a mobile, whether it's a remote worker, and you want to give them access to those resources, whether it's basically whatever web services, you've got, um, you know, database, but all these resources and the data are basically insulated, they're isolated and shielded in a particular private network that's not, or private cloud that's not visible to the public internet. So you want to give them access through the VPN. So the VPN will go through different checks saying, okay, now you're going to have to authenticate. We're going to do dual factor authentication. Once we verify you've got the right certificate on your device, now we're going to let you in and tunnel all your traffic all the way to the private cloud. So think of it like what you were mentioning about stretching an Ethernet or stretching basically a virtual tunnel or virtual wire from all the way from your private cloud or private network to the device so they can have access to that network. But somebody has to set up a server somewhere. Um, is, is, it all, is it always asymmetrical like that or is there ever like server to server communication? Well, there is, there is, it's always actually that has to be client to server. So the server, it's really serving the clients to provide mm. access to particular services. And the reason why you have server in top of just creating a particular tunnel and give you to the access, the server typically doesn't give you access to the entire network. So there are some other actually, I would say, access control capabilities. So if I want to say, okay, I want to set up some policies here to say, okay, particular users or a group of users, sales department, uh, engineering organization, have only access to particular services, to particular resources. I can uh, basically control and uh, govern that by the server itself. So that's why you have to have a server there. Uh, so it doesn't mean that you're gonna have just peer-to-peer -peer communications, it's symmetric, and you're gonna have access to everything. Because the idea of the server is the administrator or the IT person who's responsible for that private cloud or, or the network will have to basically manage that and manage those policies. What is exactly the, the policy that they have to have? So that's a, a really a typical use case. What you are a, basically um, um, saying about the peer-to-peer -peer is really that's more side-to-side. -side. But side-to-side -side is if you have two different clouds or if you have, say, a corporate network and you want to interconnect your corporate network with your private cloud, that's more of a peer-to-peer. -peer. So uh, it's not really a remote access. So that's a different use case for the VPN as well. And you can set up an open VPN as such that you can have to peer-to-peer, -peer. but you always have to have a client and server in order to interconnect the two different sites.